the social engineering toolkit incorporates an effective attack based on PowerShell, which is available on all Microsoft operating systems after the release of Microsoft Vista. Because PowerShell shell code can be easily be injected into the target's physical memory, attacks using this vector do not trigger antivirus alarms. Let's begin. First, let's start the social engineering toolkit by typing SE toolkit in the console window. Select one for social engineering attacks from the main menu. Then select nine for PowerShell attack vectors. We have four options of attack types in this window. For this example, I will select the first one for PowerShell alphanumeric shellcode injector. Next, it's asking me for my IP address. Let's check it out. My IP address is 192.168.0.109. Let's write it down and move on. I will accept the default port as 443. Now it's asking me if I want to start the listener now. Yes, I do. After pressing enter, Metasploit will start listening for incoming connections. The PowerShell shell code that launches the attack is stored at this path. So let's copy it and check it out. The x86 PowerShell injection text file is the one that we should be looking for. The social engineering aspect of the attack occurs when the attacker convinces the intended victim to copy the contents of this file into the Windows command prompt. Let's switch to the victim's machine and emulate this attack. Imagine yourself, you are the victim, and the attacker convinced you to open this file. I know you're asking yourself, really? I don't think someone will do that. Well, let's take this example. What if your IT administrator sent you this file? In another way, what if the attacker claimed that he is your IT administrator and sent you this file? I'm sure you're gonna do it. So let's copy the contents and open the command prompt. I will paste it and finally press enter. That's it. Now let's go back to the attacker machine. Let's close our last screen. Check this out. Meterpreter session one open. Hooray! All you need to do at this moment is to start interacting with the meterpreter shell by executing the session's command, followed by the number of the session. The minus i argument is for interaction mode. Let's test the sysinfo command. Indeed, this is our victim's machine. 